Welcome to this new batch open course on succeeding in postgraduate study produced by the Open University. I'm Eric Adai Chairman and I'm a senior lecturer and program director for the Masters in Education program at the Open University. And I'm Paim Rezai, I'm a reader and the program director for the Science Masters program at the OU. Between us, we have more than 30 years of experience in teaching postgraduate students, producing and leading qualifications across different programs at the OU and elsewhere. We designed this course to help students who want to pursue master's level study to be better prepared for success. The course serves to bridge the gap between undergraduate and postgraduate study. It also serves as useful induction to postgraduate study. It will help you to become familiar with the requirements and demands of postgraduate study and to develop the skills and confidence to pursue your learning further. The course is divided into eight approximately three hour sessions, so 24 hours of study in total. It broadly covers four themes. These focus on key aspects of postgraduate study, including the nature of master's level study, essential information and digital literacy skills for postgraduate study, understanding critical thinking, analysis and reflection, and applying critical and reflective thinking in academic and professional contexts. The sessions will develop your understanding of the challenges of demonstrating critical awareness of a subject area help you to reflect on and communicate your understanding, make use of appropriate evidence such as scholarly literature, and consider some of the conventions for critiquing academic writing. You'll understand the need to draw on theories, models, frameworks, and evidence to support your writing, compare contrasting theoretical arguments, and explain convincingly why you find an argument, a position, or standpoint particularly compelling. You'll also learn to plan and manage your studies and reflect on your own learning. Parts of this course will also introduce you to aspects of studying for a master's by distance learning and communicating in an online learning environment. Once you successfully complete this course, you can gain a digital badge and a statement of participation as a record of your achievement. You can use this as evidence of your independent learning and commitment to continuing your personal and professional development. Quizzes at the end of each session will help you to gauge and reflect on your learning as you make progress through the course. There are two assessment points that count towards the digital badge, an interim assessment at the end of session four, and a final assessment at the end of session eight. These badge assessments comprise two online quizzes, and you will need to score at least 50% in both assessments in order to gain your badge. You can find out more details on assessment in the introduction guidance notes. Throughout the course, you'll be required to read online, watch short video clips and presentations, listen to audio recording, search for information from internet sources, and reflect on your learning. It is therefore important to dedicate sufficient time for these activities. The course is written with a worldwide audience in mind. Although we draw on UK and European higher education frameworks and standards for this course, the principles and guidance do apply to most universities and colleges worldwide. We've been limited in what we can cover on a 24-hour course. So we've provided a list of further reading as well as links to various other useful resources should you want to explore these further. Succeeding in postgraduate study can be started at any time, but if you're planning to move on to postgraduate study soon, do make sure that you complete this course well in advance of the start date for your postgraduate course. You can study the course at your own pace, but we would encourage you to maintain a study schedule and plan your study time. We've provided further guidance on this in the accompanying introductory notes so please do have a look at those. We hope that you find this course informative and helpful and wish you the very best with your studies. All the best. I'm Nick Adams and I'm on the Masters in Education and I'm on stage two of three so it's uh, 180 points and I'm on the sort of the second 60 points of, of that so 120, coming up to 120 points of study. I suppose initially I thought, um, having done an undergraduate degree in biology uh, and moving into education, that it would be a, not only a complete sea change, but a, but a step up in terms of the, the level um, that would be expected of me, that I'd be expected to um, engage more with the primary literature, um, to go off and do my own searching, not necessarily to be given the materials, um, that, that I would need to study, that I would need to go and find them myself. Um, and actually that was quite enjoyable when I first started because I wasn't just being, having, to, having to learn something that was prescribed. I, I actually had some scope to go off and find my own path through it, which was really interesting. 
I was a little bit apprehensive to begin with that it may not have been sort of supported that it would be a kind of a go off into the wilderness and you know you're on your own but it really wasn't it was just a case of here's some some stuff to really give you a grounding in where you you know where you need to look and where you need to search and the, the kind of things that we're after um, and then the skills to go off and do those kind of searches and to find the relevant material so it was not as bad as I was originally thinking it'd been some years since I'd studied um, so I was the, the, the volume of work was something that when I initially came to it I was a bit unsure about. I think when you're um, on undergraduate study obviously the intensity of the, the work, the, the level of detail that you might need to go into and in being critical with the, um, the, the reading is, is not, as, not as great as when you're at, at the master's level. If you enjoy doing your project, if you enjoyed that independent work when you were at undergraduate level it's really kind of an extension of that. You're given some more free reign to be independent in your studies when you go on to master's level. Um, and really, that's a big, a big positive that you get to explore something that's fairly at the, at the, at the cutting edge of the, the research, of the literature, um, and just to go for it, really. It's, uh, it's not as bad as, as it sounds. Um, it's a bit scary to think, well, I'm going to be, I have to search all these materials through the library and there's so much, it's so vast. But it really isn't, it really isn't as scary as, uh, as it seems on the, from the outset. I began my master's study because I wanted to formalise some of my education knowledge and for career progression particularly. Um, and it's helped me do that quite quite nicely um, and it's set me up really to do some doctoral level study later on which I'm quite looking forward to exploring so, so really just think about where you want to go and what you want to do and if it's for a career reason it's absolutely brilliant. My name is Rachel Ward, uh, I studied my undergraduate degree in environmental science and graduated in 2011 uh, and I decided to begin my master's studies in 2013 um, and I wanted to do a master's for my own sort of personal development uh, and on to challenge myself and test myself and to see that I could do it. Uh, I'm now on my third module as part of that master's coming up towards the end of the master's degree uh, so I'm set to finish at the end of 2016. It will have taken me three years to complete in total. Going from undergraduate to postgraduate study, I expected that there'd be quite a big step up. Uh, I suppose I was quite apprehensive that I, I would not be able to cope with that step, um, that in terms of the kind of depth of writing you'd need to do, things like critical analysis skills, whether I'd have developed mine to a degree that I would be able to cope with the MSc study. Um, but now I'm kind of on the other side of that and I've done some of my studies. I feel that as you go through your studies, you're, you, you kind of develop those skills as you go. So it was, there's really nothing to be daunted by uh, and, and I'm glad that I did it. Because I'm studying my master's as a part-time distance learning course, there's, I suppose, a greater degree of uh, taking on responsibility yourself for managing your studies and managing your time and developing your skills and also being proactive. Um, with my undergraduate degree I suppose I had more peers around me, that um, students studying with me uh, that I could talk to face to face and uh, I suppose I, I felt that I might feel a little isolated for master's study, uh, taking on something, a, a project on my own as, as it were. Um, but it wasn't the case at all that I felt isolated uh, and there's actually a, a huge community of support uh, online which is the way that I study the modules uh, which is great. It is a very high demand on your time and I think that's something that you really need to think about before you take on postgraduate study um, but as long as you kind of pace yourself and develop your kind of time management skills as you go through your studies that it is, it is something that is manageable. Uh, you just need to be prepared for that before you take it on, I think. The best piece of advice that I received before going on to master's study about studying at postgraduate level was that it is a marathon and not a sprint. So 
as long as you put the effort in and keep up to date and manage your time successfully, uh, then it is definitely achievable. Once I've finished my master's studies, I hope that eventually it will open some doors for me in the future in terms of career development. Um, I think the things that I've gotten from it now um, in terms of personal development have been really rewarding. They've given me a lot of, a lot of confidence and I certainly wouldn't rule out going on to study further because coming towards the end of it and looking back, you can see how far you've come in it and it is genuinely really rewarding.